Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 gameplay cast by me, Thendus32. That's right everyone, I am back. I am as loud and obnoxious as ever. I want to thank everyone who understood my situation. I had a cold, so my casting's been a little slow and my last cast, to be honest, was kind of crappy. Great game, crappy cast. But my cold's pretty much gone. I still cough here and there, but it's it's workable now I'm gonna continue my replay of the year cast for 2015 uh, the first cast I did was Sonic vs Voland a very nice game on last refuge and that replay received the least amount of votes so I moved on to the next highest votes on the candidates and this is the game that happened so let's introduce the players shall we first I should get the sound and then we can introduce the players yes okay here we go spawning as the uh, dark green orc we have a lotch and his opponent spawning as the orange Work night complete. elf we have craft Nato versus orc on twisted meadows now both of them have back to warcraft in their name don't be fooled they are not really part of back to warcraft this game probably took place during that Back to Warcraft ladder competition that happened. Where if players had Back to Warcraft in their name, whoever had the highest ladder stats on Arena won the would they would qualify for like a tournament for some money. I think uh, some t shirts and Back to Warcraft apparel was also on the line. Very, very fun tournament that any level of player could be in. Ready to work. Now, there is no observers in this replay, so we do have to hear those annoying rally work points complete. and buildings being completed, but we'll work with it. We do see a Blade Master first out of Lodge. What do we see out of Craft? We actually see a delayed altar here. So Craft is work. gonna go for some neutral hero shenanigans. And we also see a Hunter's Hall and an Ancient of War, so it's gonna be a Huntress opener. We're out of launch. We see a delayed barracks before shot. Shot before rack. So he's gonna send his blade out. Pick up a circlet at the goblin merchant and snipe away at that forest Work troll complete. trapper. Oh my gosh! I was taking a drink. What did I just hear? I heard a summon. I thought I heard a summon. I did hear a summon. It's a beast master. Is the first hero choice for craft. And he's going to run right on in and try to get a cancel on one of Launch's burrows here. This, of course, will keep him supply capped as he's at 20 out of 20 supply. Launch is going to come back home, try to shoot him away. I don't think this burrow is going to finish. No, it won't. Going to get canceled. So, nice little harassment out of craft. He is starting his tech to tier 2. He's starting Hunter's production. His tech's not really that delayed as it was only a one Rax hunt, not a double Ancient of War hunt. Lord. And Launch gonna try double burrow production here. His still hasn't started his tech. He does have enough wood, but crap coming right back in. Gonna get a cancel on at least one. There it is. He's gonna go right for the next one, and I think he's gonna get a cancel on that too, but the Beastmaster's starting to take a little bit of damage there. Alright, there's the cancel, and the Beastmaster's surrounded! Oh, and Crap gonna TP away. Very nice. God, I have a lot of energy. Ah, oh, I miss casting. Ah, oh, I love it. So, yeah, pretty nice out of Craft. Even though he had to burn his TP, he did do very time. nice in not only delaying the tech of Watch, but also keeping him supply capped. As you can see, he's just started his tech, starting to get the bros, so he's gonna have to work with this one grunt and his hero for a little bit. Does get a level 2 in his blade. Meanwhile, Craft gonna go out to creeping himself. Both players doing the green. Still haven't gone for the big camps yet. But it does like lo does look like Lotch wants to be aggressive with his Blade Master. Maybe try to snipe away at one of the gnolls here as Kraft's gonna try to creep the knoll overseer camp. Well he's gonna get boots first. Come on, there you go. Boots of speed and dust, so he can of course reveal those huntresses. And here he comes, gonna plant himself right on the Beastmaster, gonna get a crit, speed scroll, and a wind walk. Craft doesn't have a TP, the Beastmaster, not able to get to the moon well in time. Even gonna get the freaking um, cool beast for that extra XP. 
So yeah, Kraft's going to have to resurrect his Beastmaster. He is only level 1, so the resurrection time's not going to be that bad. And Launch going to try to creep away. Oh. Does he get the XP? Oh. Huntress is trying to Shadow Mill, but Dust of Appearance will reveal them. Meanwhile, the burrow's finishing up. Grunt's starting to be produced. Tier 2 almost finishing here. Orcs usually want about 3 or 4 grunts by the time Tier 2 hits. If they're going to course Wyvern, Spirit Walker. I, I can't really tell you if it was about Wyvern play. Alright, Beastmaster's back out. We see a straight tech to Tier 3 and 1 Ancient of Wind. So even with this Beastmaster and Huntress opening, it looks like he is going to continue with standard talent play. And, back, and Kraft really likes using these neutral heroes. Gonna go for that Fire Lord second. Oh. Launch hanging around. Gonna go right for the Huntress. Huntress is gonna be speedy, but with the Wind Walk, we'll get her down. If Launch can steal this Overseer, he could get level 3. Kraft's not gonna let that happen. Oh, nope. Doesn't get it. Or the item. The item was a Circlet of Nobility. And Launch doing a bit of mul multitasking here, using his Grunts Creep away. As long as you have a soul here, you get experience no matter what around the map. So, does get level 3 in his blade. Level 2 Wind Walk is always very nice. Lasts a very long time. Allows you to keep tabs on that elf army and snipe away at some creeps or weaker units. But yes, Tier 3, Talon Adept Training, Double Ancients of Wayne. Craft's gonna stick with the standard army comp, just really doesn't have the standard hero attack. comp. What do we see out of launch? She's at Tier 2, we see the Spear Lodge Bestiary, and a Shadowhunter second, so no Tarn Chieftain. No possible epic shockwave potential. This place just creep away. Alright, first Troll Warlord's known the drop. He's hoping for a layer's foot of accuracy. That could be pretty nice. Gets a Sobe Mask. Nah, that's not that bad either. Increased mana regen on whatever hero holds it. Ooh, does the blade go in for the shop cancel? Yes, he does. He's gonna be able to get that very easy. Gloves of Haste makes that blade attack super fast. Does get a cancel. Was gonna suck on some Umo Juice just to keep it alive. And the blade actually getting caught up by the Ancient of War. That's very funny, actually. We're complete. Oh, yeah. And for those of you that don't know about Lava Spawns, let me, let me tell you a little something about them. Lava Spawns are kind of interesting. If they get enough hits, I think the magic number is like 15 or something, they'll split into multiple Lava Spawns with a shorter life timer. So, if Lava Spawns don't get dispelled and get a lot of shots in, you could get a really big army of um, Lava Spawns. But, I don't expect that to happen. Launch is getting his Spirit Walkers. He should be getting Adam training. Yes, it is. So, he'll be able to get that Disenchant, of course. To also deal with the Talon Cyclone ability. Ah, uh, Cyclone. The Orc Killer is a lot of players will call it. And there it is, Master Training on the way, which will allow him to cast Cyclone. And launch with the level 3 blade, he knows he can be aggressive with the blade, try to keep the elf from creeping easy, steal some items, all at the same time getting a Shadow Hunter leveled up. You definitely want that level 3 Shadow Hunter for that level 2 healing wave. And if you noticed a lot of things, level 3 is like the magic number of Warcraft and Solo. Uh, you... Undead versus Orc. Undead players would very much need that level 3 Death Knight. Orcs using Shadow Hunters. Level 3 Shadow Hunters. Pretty needed for that healing wave. Uh, what, what else we got? Night Elves. Level 3 Demon Hunter for the stronger mana burn. Yeah, level 3 is like the magic number of this game. And keep in mind with the Beastmaster, he can summon a Hawk, which does reveal invisible units. Ooh, nice talent save, putting in the stone core. Storm Crow. Launch not at tier 3, so he's not able to get like a lightning orb or something. The only way that blade could attack up without it is with a mask of death, and I'm pretty sure we're not gonna see one of those drop this game. The spirits of the earth. Uh unless they drop from this camp, but I'm really not sure. 
All right, so Kraft looks like he's gonna go in for an attack. He is. Let me pause this. I have to do the old-fashioned switch. He's at 44 supply versus Lotch's 30, 46. And let's see how this goes. Definitely don't want those spirit walkers up front. Snares going on to the Talons. Pocket factory coming down. Looks like Kraft did pick up a Tinker. All right, Hilo is coming in from the shadow under. Blade Master now coming in. Had to run all the way back. Ah, oh, but just to get Cyclone, he was revealed by that fairy fire. Watch, can even load up some burrows. Just get that extra defense here. Raider does not get out with his life. This Raider not looking as lucky either. It does get a healing wave thrown down on him. Blade Master continue to get Cyclone in the air. Spirit League's coming in from the Spirit Walkers. But Raiders are getting low and dropping. Launch not with many units here to defend. More Cyclones onto that blade. Oh, another one going down. Now we have the Grunt getting attacked away. Gonna use a heal scroll, but it does not matter. We'll go down. Giving level 3 to the Beastmaster. Alright, Disenchant coming in from the Spirit Walker. But it looks like Kraft does want to back off. So this will give Lotch some healing room. Uh, breathing room here to try to rebuild an army. Slotch is at 48 supply. Windwalk being used by the blade. Gonna snipe a Talon. Alright, and snare onto another Talon. Cyclone onto the blade as well. Oh, nice healing wave. Shadow Hunter is at level 3. He has plenty of healing waves in him. About two more. Spirit Walker getting focused down. Distance check gonna be used, but he will go down. <coughs> Alright, and the blade continue to get Cyclone near. That's keeping a lot of DPS potential. Out of Watch's army, Shadow Hunter getting focused down. But nice healing wave. He is out of healing wave, so gotta be careful now with the Shadow Hunter. Alright, Blade Master attacking away. He just needs one more kill for level four, but the blade's taking so much damage. Gonna use the heal scroll. Try to win walk away. Uh kid! Blade, you need to be careful. Even when win walk, the fairy fire does reveal you. He is gonna pick up a healing pot. Ah, uh, even troll head under is starting to get taken down here. Craft doing very nice damage here. Quill Beast even going into a frenzy. Blade Master finally gonna come out of that wind walk. He's gonna try to focus down the Beast Master. Shadow Hunter gonna use a mana pot for the healing wave, but the Beast Master gonna use the healing pot. Blade Master does get level four. It does get Cyclone, but the Distant Chant coming in. Staff Preservation gonna get that Beast Master. More healing was going down. Now we have the Fire Lord getting focused down. Oh, and the Fire Lord does go down, but the Blade taking so much damage. But if he keeps getting Cyclone, he can't get focused down. And Kraft looks like he's gonna back off here. There's no heroes to guard his talents. <sighs> Why did I hear the noise of a Tinker dying? Did the Tinker die? Oh my god, when did the Tinker die? Huh. <laughs> I was so worried about that Fire Lord. Alright, Beastmaster back out of the things. Blade should be careful. He does have a healing pot. Oh, he could have gotten that talent. Oh, switches his target to Beastmaster. Beastmaster gonna use healing pot. Another healing wave coming in. Even a speed scroll. Why did I say speed scroll? Oh, I thought I saw the horseshoe in the Shadow Hunter. Whoops. And now Kraft back at it again. Talons reproduce so fast. They're one of the fastest building units in the game, I do believe. Alright, more distant chance coming in. These talons though, there's nothing to soak them up. No pocket factory, no nothing to soak up damage. Spirit League's coming in. Talon's trying to focus down one of the raiders. Shadow Hunter gonna get level four. That Beastmaster's in a crappy position. Ah, but with the invuln pot, he should be fine. <coughs> Alright, there he goes. Does use the invuln pot. Blademaster gonna try to chase down. Two talons going down with a sexy crit, but he does get cycled away. And all he hears is the noise. Oh my god! 156 crit taking down the Beastmaster! Very nice out of watch there. We're under oh, that was gorgeous. We do have the Fire Lord back in. Does he want a piece of this orc? Watch down the 43 supply. Craft at 26. And it looks like Craft is going to be packing off here. Ready to <coughs> and never said my coughing was purely cured, but it's definitely a lot better. <coughs> Alright, Beastmaster going to be resurrected by Craft. Waymaster trying to focus down the talents. Another Cyclone going to be used. 
I think lots might have overextended here. Really not sure if this is the smartest decision. He's <coughs> gonna get a couple more talons though. Oh, and the shadow hunter needs to be careful. Gonna use the healing wave. Ah, more talons getting focused down. Snare onto the fire. Gonna try to focus him. That blade's hoping for some sexy crits. Is not able to get it. Does get it for the talon though. Stat preservation gonna save one of those talons. And all launches here, <laughs> units or heroes at least, are pretty raggedy. So you might want to back off. He'll salve up. <coughs> He's got a lot of weak units in his base as well. Pretty good micro though, keeping him alive. Ah, sorry about that. So yeah, he's gonna salve up, get some clarity pots. After that fight, it's 46 supply for Lotch versus 35 supply for enemy. Craft. The Fire Lord with the Orb of Venom. Not often you get to see that. Alright, so yeah, both players gonna revert to creeping. Obviously, craft is in desperate need for units. What's his gold looking like? 140. He did build up 42 supply. Like I said, Talon's rebuild ridiculously fast. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. One day I'll be cured, boys. One day. But I am not complaining. I have improved so much. And Lotch even got a build and expansion. So with that expo on the way, his resources are going to be a little bit low. And it looks like Craft is ready for another push. Lotch at 49, Craft at 44. Alright, here we go. And Snare onto the Fire Lord. Cyclone onto the Blade Master. Spirit Walker is going to use Disenchant. Fire Lord not even going to risk it. Going to use that invuln. More Cyclones, more Pocket Rocket, Pocket Factories. Yeah, good work by Lodge, focusing him down. Those Clockwork Goblins, when added up, can do a lot of damage. More Distant Chance going down, more Cyclones. Beastmaster continue to get focused down, and Kraft gonna TP out of this one. He wants no part of this fight. Ah, but very nice. Gets the level 5 Shadow Hunter. Which does mean level 3 healing wave. Craft reproducing those talents. Look how fast they build. Like, that is ridiculous. <coughs> and Craft, I do not believe, knows about this expo. Nah, he has no idea this expo is going down. Which can be pretty bad if an orc player can get away with an expo. Orc Expos are relatively easy to cancel, but once they get up, they're kind of hard to kill. Kind of. I, I would think with Talons. Other than Burrows, Talons aren't really known for sieging down buildings. It's level 2 on the Tinker and level 4 on the Fire Lord. Ah, yes, and the main gold mines are starting to run low, so... <coughs> Either Kraft's going to have to move his Tree of Eternity over, or he needs to build a Tree of Life. Beastmaster is almost at level 4, so he can get the Thunderhawk. So he can add a little bit of magical damage there. Every little bit of damage helps. And now we have Watch going in for an attack. 49 supply versus 50. Cyclone going on to the blade. Watch maybe not doesn't want to take this fight. Gonna try to run away. <laughs> Blade not getting micro lets a lot of free shots go onto him. That was pretty sloppy. And 
Now we have Kraft pushing in the Lotch, maybe for an attack? Possibly. Anything's possible in the game of Warcraft. Yeah, he's picking up scrolls, invuln pots. Kraft's prepared for a brawl here. Every hero but the Tinker has some potions on him. We go, Distant Chance coming in, Cyclone onto the blade. Fairy Dragons and Mana Flare form. Tinker getting focused down and is snared. Alright. Blade Master continue to Cyclone. The Thunderhawk coming in. Oh, Tinker gonna get that crit on him, but the stat preservation is gonna keep him alive for now. Some more Cyclones going on to Blade, but more distant chance as well. Healing wave coming in from the Shadow Hunter. These fairy dragons are doing quite a bit of damage to these spirit walkers. Every time they cast this enchant, the fairy dragons does like a little mana damage to them or whatever. Or just enchant, Blade Master trying to focus down the Fire Lord. Beast Master is going to use the healing pot, healing wave onto the blade along with the healing pot. Alright, more talents going down. Healing waves coming in as well. One spirit walker will go down. Fireware getting focused down. He's gonna use his healing pot. Now we got the Beastmaster a little bit low. More cyclones onto the blade, and Lotch gonna have to run away. Where's his raiders? He has no raiders. They all down. Starting to get some bats to deal with these fairy dragons. More healing waves coming in from that Shadow Hunter. And the expo just now finishing up. Uh, Kraft trying to chase down all these spirit walkers. That would be a huge pickoff to kill all these orc casters. Healing away from the Shadow Hunter as he gets cycling as well. Here comes the blade. Wind walked and all. Oh, but the hawk's gonna reveal him. All right, he's gonna go for the Beastmaster. Gonna get the crit, but the Beastmaster gonna use that invuln pot. The spirits. Are more distant chance from the Spirit Walkers and Kraft continue to chase them down. Watch at 52 supply, Kraft at 46. Step preservation on the Beastmaster. I'm guessing he's gonna suck on some Moonwell juice. And Kraft's main gold mine running out as well. Slowly moving his train of eternity over to the next gold mine. Cyclone onto the blade again and snares onto these talons. Healing wave did save one of the raiders. More disenchants. And the blade master continue going the air. The end justifies the means right onto that fairy dragon. Oh, and the raider getting focused down. Ah, doesn't get away with his life. Blade master getting focused down as well. Soul flares on him. That's basically a silence. It cannot cast spells and it does something else. <coughs> I think reduced armor. I'm not a fire lord export. Yeah. Expert. But oh man. Watch needs to get units out the wazoo. Craft at 50 supply and he's staying there. He's not breaking that upkeep. Watch on the other hand is at upkeep. He's still at one base though. Oh, and Lodge being greedy, trying to take a second expo here. Kraft is going to punish that. I didn't even notice that with all the fighting going on. Spirits of the earth. So what does Lodge do? It looks like he is going to run over and try to defend this. We're under attack. Blade's almost at level 6. And justifies the means. Does take out those fairy dragons. Very nice. Cyclone on the blade. And if we could get a blade level 6, we might see a very nice blade storm. Alright, there's the level 6 blade. Do we see the blade storm? No, he can cycle him before he can do it. The Tinker getting focused down. Ah, uh, another cycle on the blade. He needs to get that blade storm off. Step preservation onto the Tinker. Oh, where is he not blade storming? Oh, he hasn't even specced it yet. He still has an unspent talent. He's too busy. Healing wave going to go down the Spirit Walker. More Cyclone on the both of these Orc heroes. He's been putting Cyclone so much he hasn't been able to get his Blade Storm. 
All right, another healing wave gonna go down the Raider. Talon getting taken down with that crit. <coughs> Long range and snare gonna catch one of the Talons. And all right, he spent his points, so I think he went for Blade Storm. Uh, oh, there it is, the Blade Storm, but the Talons are gonna go in the Storm Crow form. Oh, very nice. Blade Storm does not work on air units. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> After that fight, is 47 for Lotch versus 50 of Craft still. Lotch with no upgrades. He doesn't even have Raiders. He needs Raiders. His Raiders is still at 0-0. Zero, zero. And both players are secured a base, and Lotch actually held this base, so he's mining off of two gold mines right now. Craft doesn't know about this other one, does he? No, he knows about it. He just hasn't done anything to it yet. So double expo for Lotch. And an almost level six Shadow Hunter. What are Crafts Heroes looking like? Firelord's a little halfway to level five. Beastmaster halfway to level five. Tinker almost three fourths to level three. Alright, Cyclone onto the blade. Shadow Hunter did get level six. I'm not sure if he'll go for Big Bad Voodoo. He does get a healing wave off. Alright. More distant chance coming down to stop these cyclones and these lava spawns. And these spirit walkers getting focused down. Launch with hardly any talents here. Uh, raiders here. And Big Bad Voodoo being casted here. Kraft could cancel it by cycloning the Shadow Hunter, but he decides to not. Alright, here we go. Stat preservation on the dead tanker. Another ensnare onto the Talon. Oh, the Tinker! No! What is he doing? It's there! Oh! Oh! He used the staff thinking he'd go here, but the tree of attorney is over here, so the staff takes him down here. Oh boy. Alright. Crash still trying to focus down Launch's Spirit Walkers here. All right, more healing waves coming in. More distant chance onto these cyclones. These spirit walkers have been doing cyclone for a while here. They gotta be running out of mana at some point. All right, more healing waves coming in as well. Looks like Lotch wants to back off. Meanwhile, Tinker Diving being resurrected. Craft. A little bit busy microing. Oh, might want to be careful with the Beastmaster. Shadow Hunter as well. Staff preservation on the Beastmaster. Shadow Hunter with no mana for healing wave. We do see the level 5 Fire Lord. Alright, Soul Flare on the blade. It cannot cast spells and attacks for less damage. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, the blade. Oh my god. Oh, with 40 health, he gets away. Oh, that was ballsy. Oh, that was really ballsy, but it worked. He's still revealed, though. He's still revealed. Can the talents catch him? No. No, oh, the blade's too fast. Does he have boots still? Oh, yeah, he has boots still. Oh, man. Woo! Ready to ride. That could have been real bad for the orc. That could have been a game ender, too. But right now, orc on two bases. Nine elf only at one here, so... <laughs> He can pump units out the wazoo. He's in the low upkeep. He can, he can pretty much afford it. Craft on the other end. He's at 46 out of 50. He can't even break upkeep if he wanted. Nor should he. Talons are pretty good for how much food they cost. Hmm. We do see the tinker on the way, though being resurrected at the altar. We're under More fairy dragons on the way. Right now, level 6 blade and a level 6 shadow hunter. Blade Master almost at level 7. So that will mean level 3 wind walk. Jeez. The orc levels for Lotch right now are pretty nice. Crafts levels aren't that bad either. He's at 4, 5, and I think the Tinker's still at 2. Yeah, almost a little three. All right, here we go. Cyclone onto the blade, but there's the blade storm. 
Very nice blade storm. Level seven on the blade. Gonna get that talent. Just enchant onto the pocket factories. It snares onto the talents. Craft still trying to focus down these spirit walkers. He knows if he can kill them, that'll mean less and less disenchants for the orc. Tinker getting level three. Spirit Link coming in. Healing Way coming in. Beastmaster getting level five. Just chance being used. Cyclone onto the Shadow Hunter and the Raider. Firework trying to get folks down, but a Cyclone onto the Blade. Firework does have an invuln pot. Ah, oh, nice healing wave saving those spirit walkers. Level 3 healing wave heals for a lot. Shadow Hunter only with half mana gone. Well, I'll try and get a better position. Taker getting a little focus and snare onto him. And he does go down, but the Blade Master getting focused down as well. Alright, healing wave gonna get him. Oh, gonna go for the Fire Lord. Fire Lord gonna use that invuln pot though. Uh, Talon's coming in. Sexy crit. 196. Another healing wave. How many Shoner have left? He's got about one more. Blade Master game focused and silenced. Oh, God. Healing wave coming down onto him. And Craft gonna back off here. Watch it. 54 versus 42. Nope. Long Range of Snare gonna catch a town as well. Craft not in the greatest of situations here. Tinker on the way. But yeah, Watch ping at two bases here has really been helping him out. Like, not even kidding. We're under Alright, here we go. Cyclone onto the blade. Disenchant onto all the summons. Fairy Dragon and Stare, but it was not able to get killed. Healing wave from the Shadow Hunter. Ah, oh, 200 crit. That blade, so much damage. Ah, oh, 236 crit. Another healing wave from the Shadow Hunter. These towns are just dropping like flies. Spirit walkers are dropping though as well. Craft's getting some kills too. More cyclone onto the blade. Raider getting focused down. Oh man, these orc heroes are just ungodly. Cyclone onto the blade. Beastmaster ensnared. Might get focused down. Cyclone onto the blade. Ooh. Watch losing all of his units here. Talons are being dropped as well, but like I said earlier, they just produce so fast. It's basically an endless conveyor belt of casters for the elf. Tinker back out into the brawl. Blade storm being used. Hex onto the Tinker. No, the fire word was hexed. Oh, and he goes down with the blade storm. Level 8 on the blade master. Cyclone onto the blade. Shadow Hunter getting a little bit focused down. More distant chance coming in. Oh man, craft. What supply? It's 51 for Lodge versus 32 at craft. Cyclone onto the blade. Talon's attacking away at the Spirit Walker. More and more cyclones, though. No more spirit walkers around for distant chance. Oh, Shadow taking a little bit of damage. He does have a healing wave and the level eight. So Serpent Ward, I guess. Whereas the blade probably has mirror image. Oop, Hex gonna catch the Beastmaster. Boy gonna reveal himself. Oh, gets a miss. That talisman of evasion, very helpful at the moment. Shadow Hunter getting focused down. Beastmaster using it in bone pot. Cycling onto the blade. Oh, hex onto the taker. More cyclones onto the blade. 
Ooh, man, this fight's been going on for so long. Talon gonna get caught with an ensnare. And another one as well. Like I said, endless conveyor belt. So many Talons have died this game. Oh, uh, Caster's coming in. Healing Wave's coming in from the Shadow Hunter. Sixty-three supply versus thirty-eight. Elf is down by half supply. Raider going down. Cyclone on to the blade. Fireward finally back out into brown. Fireward's almost level six. I wonder if we'll see volcano this game. I would love it if we could see a volcano this game. Ready to ride. Like I would really love it if there was a volcano. Craft even uprooting his ancient war in that fight, just trying to get everything he can. Ready to work. Oh my god, and Lodge even took a third base! Spirits of the earth guide. Lodge at three bases right now, Craft's only at one. Three base orc versus one base elf. Here we go, disenchants onto the hog. Pocket factory coming in. Healing away from the Shadow Hunter. Alright, Cyclone, but it quickly gets disenchanted. Beastmaster Dragon votes down. This is going to use the heal scroll. We almost see a level 6 Beastmaster. Tinker going down with the 248 crit. Will we see Stampede this game right now? We do see the level 6 on the Beastmaster and the Fire Lord. Blade Storm gonna be used yet again. Oh man. Oh my god, that just weakens so many talents. Now the Blade kinda caught in a bad spot, but the Healing Wave gets him at the last second. Oh, the Blade's still getting focused down. The Blade goes down. Oh my god, this is what Craft needed. <coughs> Craft desperately needed that Blade Master kill. Oh, but the Beastmaster, a little bit over extension there. But without the Blade, there's so much DPS missing from that Orc army. Oh, my God. Oh, where's the Blade? He's not being resurrected at the altar. Lodge wants to get him at the Neutral Hero Tavern. Level 8 Hero would take forever to re resurrect. It's probably going to be really expensive at the altar too. What's he at? He's at 1300 gold. And it looks like he can't even get that. He can't get... Okay, so it costed like 900 gold. Roughly. We're under attack. The blade's back out. Craft using his summonables to harass away. Watch even hitting tier 3. He has so many weak units in his base though. He's continued the pressure, he never went back home, the healing salved him up. As it is 71 supply versus 47. Cyclone going down into the blade. More disenchants gonna be used though. I don't think Kraft knows about this third base. No, he doesn't. Ah oh, man. I think he only knows he only knows about these two bases. So watch with the hidden base here. These gold mines are starting to run a little bit low. We're under attack. All right, Raider getting focused down. More summons. Blade Master disenchanted from his cyclone. I want to see Stampede at least once. I know it costs like 180 mana or something. I think. Ah, uh, he tried to get in position for it. Walker going down, Raider going down as well. Oh, there's the volcano! Volcano! Oh, ha ha! Yes! This is what it's about, baby! Volcano! Ah, oh, that's sexy. Ah, oh, now I just need to see the stampede and this replay is complete. I don't care who wins. I want to see that stampede. Sorry if I got really loud there. I am really hyped up. 
This game has been awesome. And this is this is only like the second to last replay. I can only imagine what the top replay was. God, I can only imagine. It's going to be epic out of its freaking mind, man. <laughs> We're under tier 3, we even see some Kodos coming in. Launch did get Four tier 3. It's the, the blade with that orb of lightning, making him even scarier. Also means he can focus down these fairy dragons. Craft pushing into one of the three bases of Launch right now. Uh, I'm using the summonables to wrestle with the peons. Craft's playing a pretty smart game here. He is damaging the economy somewhat, but Launch was so much gold. Firework getting level 7. It looks like Kraft. Yeah, you know, uh, Launch wants to come in and try to force the TP out of Kraft. 69 supply versus 49. Kraft has not broken up keep once this game. Alright, Kraft picking up a TP. He's gonna TP to defend. Oh, there's the blade storm onto the list. Gonna try to get the tree of attorney. It looks like it will get sniped away. Here we go in the fight. The spirit walkers right up front though. That's never good. Disenchants coming in. Healing waves coming in. Come on, let's see that stampede. He does have enough mana though. Raiders coming in. Level seven onto the beast master. Shadow Hunter getting a little bit of damage. Healing waves coming in. Tinker getting level four. Big bad Voodoo being used, but the Shadow Hunter getting focused down and the Lotch gonna TP out. All right, so basically, for those of you that don't know, Big Bad Voodoo makes all the orc units around the Shadow Hunter invulnerable to damage. You can't attack them at all. But the Shadow Hunter can still be attacked. So he can still get cycloned, he can, you know, get polymorphed, attacked, you know, whatever. Stormbolt did just anything to stun him or kill him. Which means, usually if you cast Big Bad Voodoo, your Shadow Hunter better be in a really good position, or else he's going to get focused down really quick. Yeah, and Lotch did lose that Great Hall. I mean, he could try to retake it, there's only 500 gold in it. So he'll, he'll at least pay for the Great Hall that he has to spend. Right now, Lotch is 68 supply, Kraft at 38. Kraft took a pretty good fight, but he did lose his Tree of Eternity, which sucks. And I think this might be an all-in push out of him. Fairy Dragon's calling down. Level 9 on the Shadow Hunter. That's so crazy. Distant Chance going down on all those summons. Oh, Big Bad Voodoo and the Volcano! Oh my god, so much AoE damage! <laughs> oh, that was so worth it, even though they got hexed. That was so worth it. Crap losing unit after unit. The blade with the purge orb doing so much. Beastmaster gonna use an invuln pot. Healing waves coming in. Tinker getting ensnared and killed. We even see the mirror image. And GG is called. I got a clap to that one. Oh my god, that game was good. I got you got to see Blade Storm, you got to see Big Bad Voodoo, Volcano, uh Stampede. The only thing we were missing was the uh, Goblin Tank. Oh man, in an epic 43 minute game. Very nice. If you like this cast, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to watch me play Warcraft 3, follow me at Twitch at Thendus32, and I will catch you guys later.